Well, welcome to a little bit of news we're going to get into here. I am going to split this into a few different parts so it's not like iDub says a messy, unorganized video with these transitions. We're going to talk kick ass, comics, movies, and news. So stick with me here. But don't get me wrong here. I actually like Kick-Ass too, believe it or not. Even though most people probably wouldn't believe it. I think most of the fans do. Now I say most of the fans. There really are three reasons why this movie apparently failed. And I can kind of see why. Number one is a new direction. That being a new director, a writer. Number two, Jim Carrey did not support the film. Nice going, Jim. Nice going. And number three, it not being as maybe fun with action and just kind of bland, as people tell me. They didn't use Hit Girl properly. Kind of messed her up a bit. But I think those are probably the biggest three reasons. <laughs> Seeing how this guy is a newbie, I can understand where Matthew Vaughn wasn't a newbie. Well, kind of, he was. He was a better writer and he had Jane Goldman right under his belt. So that kind of makes them the deadly double. As uh, for Jeff Waldlow, not really. Kind of screwed it up a bit. You know, it could be the tone and consistency, the satire is pretty much just dead out of it for, for the most part. There's a lot of reasons. I think most of them do fall under the director's belt here. But yeah, kind of his fault here. I bet if Matthew Vaughn was in complete control of this film instead of being an executive producer, he would have been making this movie amazing. Hi, you're being sent this video because someone wants to know what the fuck you were thinking. What the fuck was going through your head? What did you think was going to happen? Are you just a fucking idiot? Do you just not think? What the fuck were you thinking? That's why they're sending you this video because it absolutely fucking baffles them that you did something so fucking retarded. They know you're not this fucking stupid, but for some reason, you just decided to throw out every bit of fucking common sense you ever had and act like a total fucking moron, okay? So they really want you to know, and you should tell them as soon as possible exactly what the fuck you were thinking. And if you weren't thinking, apologize as soon as fucking possible because you were totally out of fucking line, okay? So please, tell them, what the fuck were you thinking? Not to mention there were some really weird scenes that did not need to be in the fucking film. I think you know what I'm talking about. WHAT THE FUCK?! Just TV day, if not peace in the Middle East. My best friends Todd and Marty had no clue I was the first superhero to go public.
big wait came. No real news, no real talk about a third film really came after the release of the second one. Probably because it was bombing at the box office and barely made double its budget. But there was a little sign of hope when Matthew Vaughn said he'd love to make a prequel to regain the love. This prequel would have focused on the origin of Hit Girl, mostly probably a younger version. My problem with that is I think we kind of get the point in the first Kick-Ass film that you don't really need to go back and have a whole new villain or anything. We kind of get the point. But once they regained the love, there would have been a third film made. If I'm not mistaken, Matthew Vaughn made his own GoFundMe page to where he uh, tried to get money to fund a movie, but it never really worked out, sadly for him. And then we haven't heard a damn thing from him. Nothing. Zero. That's because he went off to make Kingsman and Kingsman 2 leaving these projects dead in the water. And then, magically out of nowhere, came the big 2018 news. The two biggest pieces that we've gotten in forever. The first part is, the filmmaker is planning a reboot of the Kick-Ass franchise, a solo Hit Girl film, and is also planning more Kingsman movies. We're going to reboot Kick-Ass and Hit-Girl, Vaughn says. He didn't get into any specifics on what these films would detail, would entail. But, he did say to look what Mark Millar is doing with the comics for clues. When it comes to Kick-Ass, I imagine that it would be based off the comic reboot that focuses on Patience Lee. An African-American single mother who's taken on the vigilante mantle. Molar has said in the past that he'd like to see Tessa Thompson play the character, which would be awesome. Which, yeah, that would be awesome. News also broke that he would be making a cinematic universe of his own. Kind of like what the MCU's doing. And everybody else is trying to do in Hollywood these days. Make their own cinematic universes, because they sell. Mark Millar already sold most of his Netflix series that he's making off to, well, Netflix, making his own Millar world, which he has in the comic books, kind of where Kick-Ass takes place. Same with Nemesis and Superior. We'll get into that in a moment. But the recent news as of yesterday, the time of filming, I am in this video or recording, Turns out Chloe Grace Moretz wasn't a fan of Kick-Ass 2. It isn't interested in Kick-Ass 3. Shit. She also doesn't seem to want to reprise her role of Hit Girl. I actually like the second Kick-Ass movie. And I'd like to see this, this story continue here. But let's see what Chloe had to say. She's at a film festival right now where she says, I wish the second one had been handled in a little bit of a different way. Because I think we're all kind of looking forward to something a little different than what happened with it all. As much as I love the character of Hit Girl, I think she kind of survives in Kick-Ass. And I kind of want to keep her there. I kind of want to keep everyone's mind in Kick-Ass. So I don't think there will be a Kick-Ass 3. At least I don't think with Hit Girl in it. had different thoughts for how Kick-Ass 3 would go. Like, Ralph would be the main villain. He'd probably assemble the uh, East Coast bad guys. And then Hicker would somehow be killing people all over the country and find out, come back. She'll get arrested, break out of jail, kill everybody. Kick-Ass will be Kick-Ass. Maybe meet a girl, let's do his final mission, do all these little missions, and then be done. He retires. And she goes off and does whatever. But, you know, simple thoughts, just how I thought they would do it. (music) 
Okay, I thought it would be like a uh, cinematic universe we're talking about with Kingsman and Kegas. I thought there would be Nemesis.